Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of a back programming, and our new topic is interactive classical report events. In the previous videos, we covered that topic, classical report events. Now we will cover that topic, interactive classical report events. Now to start with that topic interactive classical report events firstly we need to understand the difference between classical report and interactive classical report so the word itself is saying in case of classical report we will not interact with the output in case of interactive classical report we will interact with the output. In case of classical report, there is no interaction with the output. We only, only display the output. In case of interactive classical report, we will interact with the output. Firstly, we will go for the system. We will understand and then I will come on to the theory part. Suppose, I will go for any of the program which we developed, classical report program. Suppose I am running this program. This is your selection screen or input screen. I gave the input. And this is our output screen. This is our output screen. How we display this output? Using write statement because we all know in case of classical report, we are displaying the output using write statement. So have we interacted with the output? Is there any provision to interact with the output? So we only display the output. This is called as which report? Classical report. We have not at all interacted with the output. Now, suppose I will take a program in which we have the interaction. Suppose I'm running the program. This is input screen or selection screen. I'm giving the input. I will go to execute button. Now, this is your, this is your output. This is your output. Now, I'm interacting with the output. Suppose I'm double clicking. Have you seen it is taking me to somewhere else? I can go to back. Suppose I'm double clicking on second record. It is taking me to another set of data. So I'm interacting with the output. So this is called as which report interactive classical report. So whenever you are interacting with the output, that is called as what interactive classical report. So I was supposed to double click on third record. It is taking me to another set of data. It means I interacted with the output. So this is called as what interactive classical report. Now we will go for two important terminology and throw out this interactive classical report. These two terminology will play a vital role. But is first terminology basic list, but is second terminology a secondary list. We have two things, basic list and secondary list. And our whole topic will revolve around these two terminology. But is basic list and what is secondary list? Whenever you will execute the program, the list which is coming first is called as basic list. Suppose simple. I'm running any of the program. This is the program which we developed. We gave the input. After executing, whatever the list is coming first, it is called as basic list. Basic list. It is clearly mentioned. Basic list is the one which is generated by our program at first. It is generated at first by our ABAP program. Whenever we will execute, whatever the list is coming first, it is called as basic list. 
Now, what is secondary list? Suppose I will go for this program. I'm giving the input, I'm executing. So after executing, this list is coming first. It means it is basic list. Whenever you will interact with the basic list, after that, whatever the list is coming, it is called a secondary list. Suppose I'm double clicking on first record. So this is called as what? This is called as your secondary list. The list which is coming after performing, after, interact, after interacting with the basic list, whatever the next list is coming, it is called as secondary list. Suppose this is basic list. I'm clicking on to fourth record. So I interacted with basic list. Now this is which type of list? This is your secondary list. So what is secondary list? Secondary list are generated by further navigation or selection from the basic list. Yes, we did the further navigation and user selection from which list? Basic list. So it is called as what? Secondary list. Secondary list. Now I will make the topic more clear because firstly we need to understand what is basic list and what is secondary list. Now we will use these two terminology in classical report and interactive classical report. Now in case of classical report, we only display the output on basic list. Suppose I will go for the program which we developed. This is the program which we developed. Only, only classical report. In case of classical report, we only display the output on the basic list. Basic list. This is our first list. Yes, this is our first list. Have we interacted with the output? We are not interacting with the output. So in case of classical report, you have only one list, one list that is called as which list? Basic list. Because you are not interacting with the output. If you will not interact, then how you will generate the secondary list? So in case of classical report, we only, only display the output on which list? Basic list. There is no interaction with the output. In case of interactive classical report, we interact with the output on which list? Basic list. And it will take us to which list? Secondary list. So in case of interactive classical report, you have both the list. But it's first list, which is called as basic list. And whenever you will perform some actions or navigation, it will take to which type of list? Secondary list. Whenever you are, suppose I'm giving some input, this is your basic list, which is coming first. After performing some navigation or actions, it will take me to which type of list? Secondary list. So in case of interactive classical report, we have both the list, basic list as well as secondary list. Whenever you will perform some actions or navigation on basic list, it will take you to which list? Secondary list. Now, it is clearly mentioned in the theory. Basic list is the first, first list which is generated by the program. Basic list is the list which is generated first by our ABAP program. And secondary list are the one which generated from the basic list. Whenever we will perform some navigation or selection on the basic list, which list will generate after that secondary list. Now we will proceed further into this. Now in a program, whenever you are developing a classical report, we have only, only one basic list. And it is simply understood also. Whenever your first list is coming, your first list is only coming first time, one time. So we have, what is the limit of basic list? Basic list is always, always one. 
So if someone asks you, you can generate how many basic list in a program? So answer is one. And what is the limit of secondary list? We can generate 20 secondary list in a classical report program. So one is the basic list. It's a golden rule and it's a no. It's a simple, simple understanding. The list which is coming for the first time is called as basic list. It means how many basic list one. So after performing the actions or navigation on the basic list, we can go for maximum 20 secondary list in a program. Now, what are the various interactive classical report event as a part of interactive classical report event? We will cover these three events at line selection, at user command, and top of page during line selection. So as a part of interactive classical report event, we will cover these three events at line selection, at user command, and top of page during line selection. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we started with the topic interactive classical report events. To understand the concept of interactive classical report events, we should firstly understand the difference between classical report and interactive classical report. In classical report, we only display the output. We will not interact with the output. In case of interactive classical report, we interact with the output and you can understand fully. In case of classical report, if you are not interacting with the output, it means you have only one list that is called as basic list. In case of interactive classical report, we are interacting with the output. It means we have basic list and secondary list both both now what is basic list the list which is generated by our program for the first time that is called as basic list and what is secondary list whenever you will do the navigations or selection on the basic list after that whatever the list is coming it is called as your secondary list now in a program we can go for one basic list and it's not a cramming at all. You are executing the program. So first time, whatever the list is coming, it is basic list. So basic list is always one. And after performing the actions on the basic list, we can go for 20 secondary list. So 20 is the maximum count for the secondary list. Now we all know what is event? Event always trigger by a action or it will trigger automatically when their time has been reached. So as a part of interactive classical report events, we will cover these three events. At line selection, at user command, top of page during line selection. And yes, out of these three, Few will require action from our end. Yes, few will trigger automatically when their time has been reached because it's a golden rule in terms of event. Now, in the next video, we will start with our first event, first interactive classical report event that is at line selection. So that's it in this video. Thank you.